President Trump is keeping a promise he made to religious leaders months ago. On Friday, he issued two directives on religious liberty, one which allows more employers to opt out of covering birth control for workers, the other that could weaken protections for LGBT Americans. All of this as Mr. Trump has still not explained a cryptic and ominous comment he made earlier this week. Errol Barnett is at the White House. Errol, good morning. Good morning. The White House issued what you could describe as a one-two punch yesterday in the name of religious freedom. This as the administration refuses to shed any light on a presidential riddle. The president believes that the freedom to practice one's faith is a fundamental right in this country. The White House cited religious freedom in issuing new guidelines to allow employers with religious or moral conviction to opt out of the Obamacare mandate requiring health insurance to cover birth control. Some women's rights groups are threatening legal action. And it's really prioritizing a certain religious view about contraception over a woman's own personal beliefs. Another ruling could override anti-discrimination protection for LGBT people by allowing religious employers to hire only persons whose beliefs and conducts are consistent with those of the company. And in the midst of these major domestic rollbacks, President Trump set off a global guessing much, game. Mr. President, what did you mean by calm before the storm yesterday? What did you mean by that? You'll find out. President Trump hadn't tweeted in over 24 hours last night after he again teased reporters and the world about a coming storm. I wouldn't say that he's messing with the press. As for just what the coming storm may be, White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders refused to clarify. I think we have some serious uh, world issues here. It began after a presidential dinner Thursday night with top military leaders and their wives when President Trump said this. You guys know what this represents? Well, I don't know, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. Before that meeting, President Trump said tremendous progress had been made against ISIS amid rising tension with North Korea and ahead of next week's announcement of the president's Iran strategy. We have had uh, challenges that we really should have taken care of a long time ago. The president is expected to take steps next week that could unravel the agreement to freeze Iran's nuclear program. That action would be in defiance of top national security advisors like Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. President Trump refuted reports this week that Tillerson called him a moron and nearly quit following a July meeting at the Pentagon. It was fake news. It was a totally phony story. Now, in an impromptu press conference on Wednesday, the press averse Secretary of State said he has no plans to exit, but he did not deny calling the president a name. The White House says the president remains confident in Tillerson. Anthony? Errol Barnett at the White House. Thanks, Errol.